So Dragon Ball Z Kakarot came out with a DLC, The Warrior of Hope, uh, I guess timeline, alternate timeline in the Dragon Ball Z universe where Trunks actually, you know, defeats Cell. And not only that, we get to see him from a little kid. Now, starting off, I'm going to start with the story. They nailed it. Oh, yeah, they, they, they spot on with the story when it comes to actually keeping the pace with what the actual Dragon Ball Z timeline uh, matches up, like how it matches up with, you know, the Dragon Ball Z timeline. And I just have to say, man, yeah, when it comes to being little trunks and training with future Gohan and all that stuff, it was it was quite, quite interesting to see how accurate it was. And when I mean not even accurate as in terms of just like just word for word, they actually made you feel like you were playing that timeline. And although that was a good aspect, it also had a negative to it. I didn't like how they actually had to make you restart kind of like the game pretty much like you have to go into the game and kind of just be at a lower level and fish again and it, it got really tedious in my opinion I, I wasn't really enjoying that aspect of it i was just more so interested in the storyline and like the cutscenes that they were doing and even the cutscenes that uh, tremendous i love the cutscene where they when tra trunks tra actually transforms and i actually like the cutscene where they uh battled in future Tr gohan unfortunately i don't i really have the 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 footage from previous because i played it and i realized i didn't i wasn't recording during that period of time but i was recording during the last half and um i, I just have to say going back to the story mode just the cutscenes. what i do want to reiterate is that it had just a little negative with the music I wasn't really fond of where they placed the music in some of these scenes. It kind of just threw the whole scene off for me. And that was like a little tidbit from the story. But when it comes to like the gameplay and the fighting, I did like the aspect where you actually had to fight as future Gohan. And you were kind of like limp and he had one arm. Uh, it actually showed the actual like pain and frustration you felt when trying to fight them. It, it, you felt the pain. You felt the gravity of what future Gohan might have been feeling during that time. And... I want to reiterate that this just kind of opened my eyes to what the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC could to, could go into, like in terms of just DLC when it comes to the future trunks, because they re they really went into the entire time timeline from start to finish. Uh, when it comes to the gameplay, though, you know it's your typical fighting gameplay. Um, there wasn't anything that stood out. There wasn't anything that stood out when it comes to gameplay. It it was more story based. I feel like certain DLCs were for certain things. I think this one was a bit more story based when it comes to like the purpose of the dlc and which is which is fine because this is an alternate timeline it's you're gonna probably have to start over and stuff because you know it's it's a totally different world totally different timeline you even have to go to master roshi and all these other people and meet them in their in their different like form like they're not really in the same timeline as the main story so they kind of talk um talk about things that are talk about things differently basically uh when it comes to after the cell saga and so yeah, with that, it just nothing with the, with the gameplay and action really stood out, unless it was in a cutscene. But when it comes to like the ending and stuff, I do want to reiterate, like, or actually just add that that Supreme Kai of Time or the Majin Buu edition, absolutely wonderful. That bumped the rating up for me. It was sitting at like a four out of ten for like the entire DLC, and then it, it bumped itself up a little bit because that that Supreme Kai of Time arc that they did or the Buu arc that they did with with trunks that was neat and i would actually had fun with that that was when the action and stuff actually kind of picked up for me personally um it, it kind of started out strong with the future trunks and then got to kind of stale going through and then you know going through the fight cell and stuff it just wasn't as eventful as i had hoped but then after that yeah it got into some really cool stuff i actually really enjoyed it but other than that yeah like the, the warrior of hope saga, saga i think it was it had a lot when it comes to like the storyline and the cutscenes. But it didn't really have a lot in terms of like content, like packed content. It wasn't like a lot to really jump on them about or to jump in about. Um, so I, that's why I said it was, it was more like down the middle experience, a little bit over. And um, again, I just want to reiterate that this, this was a it was a cool DLC if you want to get into the whole timeline and story of how Trunks really took his time or took the made the decisions he did and even featured Gohan because you get to play play as them both. So I really want to see like how people interpret it in like their own interaction with it. So that's it. So my final review on this DLC is going to be a solid six out of ten. Like I said, it's down the middle uh, experience, but it's a little bit over. 
Uh, but yeah, it had its negatives. It, it kind of drug a lot, and it wasn't really eventful. It wasn't member as memorable. And I do grade that high. Like it has to be memorable. Like DLC should be memorable, or the game itself should be memorable, memorable, and have memorable moments. Although it had some moments I remember, it wasn't like memorable in a way that I was very fascinated with. So. Uh, that is it for that review. Uh, this might be a short one, but you know I'm gonna try to keep this either shorter or longer, <laughs> depending on how long you guys want to hear me talk. Uh, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and we're gonna get on some more DBZ Kakarot content. Peace.